Hi, welcome to Aphrodite Hills Golf Resort here in Cyprus. My name is Chris Ryan and in this video we're talking about what might be considered by some as a fault and how using that can help you improve some of the movements you have in your downswing and ultimately get you to hit that golf ball a little bit further. So we're talking about the top of the golf swing and we're talking about the term across the line. Now, what does this mean first of all? Well, it basically means that the golf club would point somewhere to the right of the target. So if I'm trying to hit this ball straight down the middle of that fairway, it would be at the top of the golf swing when the club points off to the right. And I would guess that most of the golfers out there who have this position, if you like, would consider it a fault. In many situations, it is a fault, but we can actually use it to our advantage. So I'm gonna talk through how. The position at the top, for me, isn't enough information. How the club has got there is absolutely key to deciding whether this is something that needs to be changed or not. Let's take my goal swing for example. In my goal swing, I'm gonna make this a little bit more exaggerated than it is, I tend to get the club shaft a little bit too flat. So as I get halfway back, the club shaft is too low at an angle. So what I do from there is I, as I get to the top, I try and steepen that, and my tendency is to get the club across the line. Now, the key thing here is that at the top of the swing, it's across the line, but my club shaft is in the process of steepening. This for me is a fault I have in my golf swing because what it means then is as I have this movement at the top where I'm trying to steepen the club, it's across the line. And as I start down, the club shaft is excessively steep. That then gives me a few issues with how I deliver the club and my consistency in terms of its path and the pace relative to that. However, if I was to get the club across the line in a different way, i.e. the club shaft is very, very steep in the backswing and it's across, this may not be too bad because the, the golf club is not in the process of steepening. It may well be that if I had that club steep in the backswing, it may well be actually in the process of shallowing. So there are many golfers out there who actually use the golf club being steep and across the line at the top to help them shallow the golf swing. It will be very, very difficult for me to take a club shaft which is flat, steepen it to the top, and then shallow it again in the downswing. That will be very, very difficult for me to do. And we don't see many examples of golfers doing that. We do see a couple. So what am I trying to do in my golf swing? Well, actually, I'm trying to get that golf club steeper in the backswing to the point where I'm actually trying to feel it steeper at the top because I appreciate that once I can get it steeper in this backswing, as I start down with my body, there's a decent chance that that club will shallow quite nicely. So getting the club across the line at the top can be a fault but it can actually help you to shadow the club as you start down. We need to decide if you're at the top of your golf swing and you are a little bit across the line, that information unfortunately isn't enough. We would like to know how it got there. What is that club in the process of doing? If I was to see a picture of the top of a golf swing and the club is across the line, very difficult to tell you what that golf is in the process of doing. Is that club in the process of shallowing or is that club in the process of steepening? What that club is doing in transition is absolutely key. Steeper to shallow would be my preference. Not saying it has to happen in every golf swing, but if there was gonna be some movement in the club shaft, that would be my preference. Shallow to steep, that's what I currently do, that's not my preference. So for me, the club being across the line is not the issue. The way that it gets there is more the issue. I'm actually trying to get that club much, much steeper earlier in the golf swing, because I appreciate that there's a decent chance that I would then shallow it. It's all about how we control the center of mass. So that's the balance point of the golf club relative to your hands. Such a key element in playing good golf. If the relationship between the two is under control and it's good, we can play some good golf. If the relationship is wrong, it's very difficult to deliver that club consistently to the ball. So cross the line, not always a fault. For many of you out there, it's actually going to be a good feeling for you. If you do get that shallow to steep, let's feel as if you get that club steeper early, keep it steep, but then make some golf things where it shallows early. It's going to be a different feeling for you, but we can start to use the momentum of the club to our advantage, as opposed to it being a disadvantage, and we have to fix it around by impact. Let me hit one. And there's a very good chance I'm gonna demonstrate exactly what I'm trying not to do, but I am currently working on it. It's just not quite fixed yet. So I'm gonna try and get it really steep here, keep it steep so it looks across the line, 
but then it's going to shallow. And we'll see how close I get. Felt very strange. Just probably missed the fairway on the right. I will need to have a look back at that to see what it looks like. No idea, felt different, but you'll probably have a better idea than me what that looked like now. I'm gonna have a look back in the video in a minute and see if I got anywhere near to what I'm trying to do. So, across the line, not always a fault. Sometimes it can be used to your advantage. We can get the center of mass working into a shallower position, and that's ultimately gonna help you with your pivot, your delivery, and let's hope it helps you hit some better golf shots. Thank you for watching. Hopefully that video is helpful to you. Thank you to Aphrodite Hills for hosting me here for a few days. Course has been fantastic. Thank you to Golf Breaks for making it all happen. All the usual stuff is down below this video. That's a like button, a comments box, and a link to subscribe to the channel. If you're not a subscriber, click on that link. It's absolutely free. More videos just like this one coming each and every week. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you again soon.